Hey friends, today is Wednesday, July 13th, and you should be reading 1 Kings 15, 2 Chronicles 13 to 14, and Titus 3. And just a reminder, is some background as you go into these chapters that Israel is fit, split into two nations, into Judah and Israel, um, and they've had a lot of turnover in leaders. Um, lots of bad ones, a couple of good ones. As we're reading through this, we get to see the different ones. Like today, we learn about Nadab, who who leads Israel into sin and away from God, just like his fathers before him. But then we also read of Asa right afterwards, who, who has the heart of David, who leads his country, leads Judah back to God as they take out the idols and try to focus on God again. And so we get to see the difference between them and what happens. And it's really important to remember as you're reading this that our leaders are the ones who lead us in spiritually a lot of times. Um, just like Nadab led his nation, his nation didn't do anything about it. They're like, okay, we're gonna do this. And when Asa decided that his nation should worship God again, they were like, okay, let's do it. Um, our leaders have a lot of power sometimes to um, lead us one direction or another. And, and that's important for all of us. It's, I mean, Israel split into these two nations because of bad leadership after David had passed away. Um, and so you just have to remember that as we lead um, our families and our friends, we want to be good leaders. And we want people to hold us accountable and we want to share the heart of God with everyone that we come around and lead them towards God. We want to show people that God is the best possible thing to have in our lives. And, and you'll see that as you're reading through these different kings, the kings that followed God had longer reigns um, as they ruled over their people and they tended to live longer as well because they were blessed by God and they led their nations to follow God. And it's really cool and it's really interesting as you read this that you see that David is the standard. They say that David had the heart of God and they'll either say that they, these kings weren't like David or they were. Um, and it's really interesting because David was not a perfect person. In our readings today, it even mentions that David murdered Uriah the Hittite because he wasn't perfect, but his heart still followed God, still kept going. And even when he messed up, he still yearned to be around God, to be with him. And and I think that's important, like even in our own lives, as we mess up as leaders or as followers, that we don't want to just turn away from God when we mess up. We want to continue to follow him. And that's all that God's asking. He knows that we're not perfect people. He knows that we're going to make mistakes. But it's our choice after the mistake to, to keep going towards God, to turn away from our sins again and ask for forgiveness and keep going. And I mean, David, he messes up big time. And yet he's still the standard for all of these other kings in Israel and in Judah because he loved God and he followed God. So we have to think about first, the leaders in our lives, those people who are leading us, are they leading us towards God or away from God? And if they're leading us away from God, maybe we need to figure out what's going on and make sure we continue to follow in the right path, to follow God. But also we need to remember as leaders of our families and our friends, we need to make sure that we're leading them the right way. Um, parents with children, you're your family's leaders and you get to decide how they're gonna grow up. And you know, I get to spend a lot of time with your children at church, but not a whole lot. I can't change the course of their life. I can teach them about Jesus and about God, but you guys are the ones who get to change the direction of your family. You get to choose if you guys are gonna walk in God or walk away from him. And, and I encourage you guys to think about that and to make sure you're leading your families towards Jesus and towards God. And I also challenge you to pray for our leaders, for your spiritual leaders, for our nation's leaders, pray for them and ask God to keep their hearts soft, to keep their hearts following God. And, um, and I just encourage that because our leaders, like I said, have so much power in the course of our lives if we let them. 
and we want to make sure that we help with our prayers to keep them faithful to God as well. And until we see you again, you are sent.